Hello YouTube, it's Harley here with another episode of RTD and sadly this episode is the finale of RTD. I have ran out of stuff to do on this world except just building stuff and uh, um, just kind of ran out of ideas honestly guys. Uh, the only thing I really could do on here is just play with you guys and that doesn't really make for a great entertaining video. But for this episode, for the finale, we are going to do a world tour. So I'll show you all the creations that we have made, what we uh, mainly spent, uh, the time we spent on this world, and what we did and stuff. So let's get right down to it. And this is where RTD all started out, was right here on this little hill. And this is where we started our world and uh, started expanding and building and stuff. Um, I was in a hurry to get ready for the Ender Dragon, so I didn't really worry about building houses until after we killed it. So I was just more worried about getting resources, getting uh, uh, tools and enchantments and stuff like that. So I just set up shop on a little hill, did a little bit of designing. But it was right beside spawn, we spawned like right over there. So this is where we kind of set up shop. Uh, here down there is a, a quarry, uh, nothing too fancy, I don't want to drop down there. Random chest everywhere. This place I pretty much cleared out of resources. Uh, I don't know what happened here. Like it's just a big mess because so many people in this world are just running around doing whatever they want. And this place is kind of my chest room. Doesn't have much in there. Ooh, ender pearls. I could use those. Um, it just kind of loaded with a bunch of random stuff that we didn't need. I pretty much look how many pig saddles we found. That is crazy how many pig saddles. But yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff that we didn't need and we left. Had a brewing station and incinerator. It just looks like it's been abandoned for so long. There's no upkeep. It's crazy. Uh, this was my uh, little secret. Uh, not really secret. It was my trading shop. It's a uh, Harley's trading system. You could uh, actually send something here. I don't know if it still works or not. Oh, it does. And then uh, I could walk in. And that, that was kind of the secret to it. And, uh, but the bad part is whenever somebody would send, send something to me, the door would open every time. So it really didn't help much, but that was the idea. And, uh, I put an iron door so nobody could go back here to my, my chest. So I put my chest there, but eventually I made this secret room where a couple of, uh, us others, other people in the world started stashing our stuff. So uh, nobody would take it. But as you can see, we raided pretty much everything. But, and then back here, I think we just used dirt to block it off, so it was an escape route in case somebody's seen this. Um, as for some of these other structures, I really don't know what they are. Oh, this is a uh, grave. Oh, somebody somebody tore it up. This was a grave for I forget who, uh, but that was a grave. <laughs> or no, this is a grave. I don't know what that is. Then. This is a grave. Here we go. This is like four. Uh, this is for Squirrel. Um, they called him Squirrel for some reason. He uh, burned to death in and uh, lava so uh, this is a very sad day <laughs> but and then uh, here's a uh, health a uh, little lake that I was very disappointed in seeing it was just kind of in the way but uh, and we're no longer here so I don't mind it it's kind of like a jacuzzi now if, if I don't say so like it has this little seating area it's pretty interesting um, uh, here's the uh, castle that a lot of people liked but I feel bad because I never really used it all we did in there was really <laughs> people were hiding chests inside here so this place is just tore to pieces but the castle all we really did was have a, a, a fight one day and that was about it we just tried killing each other but uh, IG made this IG rival and it's pretty awesome it really is but I just didn't really have time to, to mess with it it looks like a legit castle and I just it wasn't what I was really wanting I was wanting a, a different location but he was building it here and and it was pretty cool at the time it was but then I realized that I wanted somewhere else uh, our first nether portal we can go in here I believe we have a, a two blaze spawner traps in here that we built for XP farms because um, that was the best XP farm we could get considering uh, like the skeleton spawner didn't go very well so we made a, a blaze spawner trap the same one that's uh, on my LP I believe if I remember how to get down there yeah it's it's right down here there's two of them we found so we just made two so more than one people uh, can get their XP really fast this is it I'm on peaceful right now so it doesn't work but there it is and then there's one down here this hallway was made by somebody it's pretty sweet I kinda wish it was bigger but I couldn't complain because they did make it for me so it's, it's pretty awesome I believe even though it's uh, a two by two, but the two of uh, two by two does fit, considering this is a two by two. So that is even. That was very smart of them. 
So yeah, here's the other spawner, a bunch of random stuff, <laughs> as I said, and it works. Uh, it, both of them works pretty good, as far as I know. Not many people go here anymore because of the Enderman farm, and we'll see that in a minute. But most people just go to the Enderman farm, and it only takes like two minutes to to level up there. Here it takes probably 15, I believe, 15, 20, probably longer. Uh, enchanting room that we made. I don't know if there's any goods here. Probably not. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The enchanting table is probably a good, but we just left it all here. And then let's head over probably to the skeleton spawner. Alright, while we're here, we'll just show these houses off. I don't know whose house this is, but it's really neat. I, I like it. I don't like the showing of the, the nether rack, but otherwise it looks pretty cool. It probably took a long time because checkerboard patterns are pretty difficult to make. Uh, I guess they never finished their roof, but pretty cool design to start off with. And then uh, there's... Uh, this house right here, this is a um, Helta Force's friend's house, I believe. And uh, he, I don't know how bad tore up it is, but it was really cool. I just think it's kind of cramped for me personally. But he had all kinds of crazy stuff, secret secret pathways and stuff like that. I really don't want to jump down there. I guess I got Ender Pearls. Okay, I don't know what that is. But he, he had something uh, that you could like, go underground with. It was pretty neat. So... There's his house, um, tree farm over there that I made on one of the episodes. Uh, used it for apples. Spent a long time getting apples before we fought the dragon. So oh, we have glass above it so it doesn't grow too big. So that was really important. And I believe there's another house over here. It's uh, yeah, it's Helta's house, but he made it right like right before I moved. So that was uh, kind of depressing for him. Uh, somebody wrote my name in dirt, uh, like first episode or so it was funny i was like do something else please <laughs> my name isn't that special yes i believe this is helta's house um i don't know if he has a sign somewhere uh, let's look down here oh in working progress but yeah we need a when we do the new rtd i want to try to make sure that people put their signs and stuff up because uh i want i want to show their houses off eventually and uh if they have a sign up it just it's a lot easier for me Oh, there's another one. That one's pretty cool, actually, but that took forever. Let's see. Is there one right here? Yeah. That one took forever. I forget who it was. I think it might have been Senor Sally, I believe. Uh, I don't know whose cobblestone house this is, but but it looks like a little cottage hut thingy. I don't know if cottages, cottages aren't made out of stone, but it looks kind of like a cottage if it was wood. Now, over here, this was really cool. I'm pretty sure it's Senor Sally. And it, once again, he made it right before I moved. So uh, I believe everybody was pretty angry about that. <laughs> but I didn't want to stay where I was. So I'm, I apologize. Uh, down here, let's see. This is just more cobblestone. I don't know why people build out of cobblestone. No offense. I just really don't. Kind of cool outline. I just wish you had more kind of color and texture to it. Uh, because this is really neat. It's just you need something else. But interesting layout. I wonder if he has anything in here. Nope. Uh, but watermelon farms are everywhere. Pretty simple with a lever. Most of them that I made have a lever on them. Um, but some people would just use their fist because we were a very short supply of food. That is for sure. Now this is pretty cool. I actually I don't even know if I've been up here. i just seen this pathway. And once again, I don't like the exposed nether rack. But, but you know, you can't really see it from a distance. So it's like a really big castle. I don't know if this is like a stairwell up. This is a crazy stairwell oh like a lookout that's kind of cool that is really cool lookouts that's a lot of gold i thought that was wool he used gold on this i needed that gold i needed that gold for the for the what are they called oh man i thought that was off i needed the gold for those uh apples yeah this is really cool oh gosh <laughs> this is really cool uh area i kind of hate the fact that uh you can't really see where these half slabs like that, but it's best to have half slabs up because it just looks so much better. But that's an awesome house. Uh, I must say our castle is probably better yet uh, explain. Now we, I th believe that is everything over here that I believe that we covered. Over here is the, uh, sp what is it, skeleton spawner trap. And I believe Helta and Sound Sick found this um, whenever they were looking underneath the world or whatever. So... 
that's who found uh, this, and uh, they made a skeleton spawn trap. Sounds sick, did anyways, as far as I know. I don't know if Helta helped out or not, but it worked very, uh, very effectively. Got plenty of bone meal. I believe they built a house over here, and then they uh, destroyed it for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I thought it was a really cool house, but they tore the whole thing down for the resources, and I just didn't understand why they just go get more resources. But I thought the house was really sweet. Um, I wish they wouldn't have tore it down. Just kind of left it there. All right, so we got a water drop, and then this is what Sound Sick made. I did a bunch of designing, kind of cleared the place out. I don't even know if this uh, skeleton spawner works anymore. I think somebody broke it. And then the lever has a sticky p piston that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it's supposed to have a sticky piston underneath this. Okay, somebody raided this place. And um, it, it goes up and down so you can kill them and stuff. But it was pretty cool, except when somebody would come down, and it would be up. The block would be up. And then they would lower it with like freaking 50, 50 skeletons that would drop down. And I'd be over there AFK and I would hear my TV go off. And I'd have to kill 50 skeletons real quick before they kill us with our bows. And that was that was pretty fun. I wish I would have got some of that on camera. But yeah, I believe I raided this area for our resources whenever I was uh, going to fight uh, the Ender Dragon. Just because I was wanting a bunch of stuff and a redstone. But yeah, pretty much completely cleared. Uh, let's see. Let's head on out and see if I can find any more places around here that we can uh, visit. All right, I believe that's everything in that direction. There's the uh, castle and Helta's uh, house. You can tell there it's nice and lit up. It looks pretty cool back here uh, at nighttime. And we have this row of torches. They go all the way to the, the uh, portal, which is over there, the end portal. And uh, I want to show you guys uh, this this area, this little bridge. This is just a village. I believe some people kind of used it as a, a base because um, I did play on like hard difficulty. And when people that just came into the game playing with me for the first time, uh, they they died a lot. So I think they use this place as shelter uh, because they didn't know their way around. This is where <laughs> this is where we have got that villager that I never really used. I, I had ideas for him, but I never used it. Somebody grew a tree on top of his head so that was pretty funny uh we will be using villagers when the update comes out that is for sure and i don't i don't know what this mess is but it's, uh, let me show you this little bridge i made this is probably the coolest thing i've ever made and it's so simple and i say it's the coolest thing i ever made because i was sick of walking over this water right here i was so aggravated at trying to go all the way around to get there and i made this little diagonal bridge and i thought it was probably the best thing i made in this world uh sarcastically i'm saying I thought it was a good idea because, man, it was frustrating getting over there. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes and, and all kinds of stuff. It's because people died from creeper or got blown up by creepers and never filled in their hole. <laughs> so that was a little frustrating. All right, this right here is just another farm. As I said, we ran out of food all the time, and uh, that sucked. I cleared out most of the trees uh, one day whenever I needed wood. So this area is pretty much wiped out. And then down here is where the end portal is. Somebody made a lovely stairway for me. I don't remember who exactly, but it's pretty awesome. Um, of course, the, I don't care if they like put their name on that or something. It's pretty simple. <laughs> I think it's funny when people uh, label their name on, on crazy stuff. But, I mean, if it's like your house, it's nice to label your name. All right, this is where I kind of hid some of my stuff. Uh, there was a hidden chest there I would put. It's not really hidden chest, but it's just a chest behind a block. Uh, this is our old area that me and a couple of others uh, use. We like do look at all that coal and glowstone. Oh my goodness, who is this? I think that was that was sound sick, I believe. Jeez, he has a lot of glowstone. I wish I wish I would have known that. Oh, somebody completely raided me. This was mine. Uh, but yeah, it's I probably I probably did that. Dang, I wish you would have known that. I've been trying to get glowstone for days. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't realize. I thought I came through here and wiped most of the stuff out. This is Helta's. And uh, he doesn't have uh, too much. So, And we had like a piston doorway or or something like that. That Yeah, a piston doorway right here that would open up. I don't know if the piston. Yeah, see the pistons used to be right here. And it wrapped around or wrapped underneath. It wrapped underneath. That's why all this cobbles here because... This was kind of a secret, and then this lever activated it. it. This lever went underneath, so that was one of our hidden places. And then I think a few people found out about it, and then eventually we just started doing this. And this is another one of our hidden places. <laughs> so that's where we hid most of our stuff for a long time. Look at all that lapis and armor. That's crazy. 
We have a lot of stuff. More glowstone in there. This is where I kept my stuff. More lapis. Ooh, a diamond sword. What? I can't believe I had a diamond sword in here. Man, I got a bunch of good stuff in here. I have I have Ender. Another map. Oh, goodness. I did not know I had all this stuff in here. Look at that. I'm wearing this crappy armor and I have all this in here. Protection 4 on all of it. Man, I feel dumb. I forgot all about it because I, it's, I haven't played on here in so long. Wow. That is crazy. Well, that's cool. Put the helmet and legs on. There we go. All right, there's another mine shaft. I found a couple more diamonds. I wonder if we have anything down here. I cannot believe I found all that stuff. Just a bunch of random stuff. I probably kept the diamonds on me. But, yeah, I went a long ways. I was I was needing uh, more ores for something. I think I was looking for diamonds. I'm not for sure exactly what I was doing, but I spent a while working on that. All right, now for the probably the is the best thing that we built on this world period and i want to thank everyone that helped me because it took such a long weekend uh, it was like eight hours every day all weekend long it was crazy but it was awesome build and it's probably one of the best things that i've made on this world and i don't know if, even know if anyone else has made one of these uh, on minecraft xbox on survival mode just because it's such a long process and it took so many people to do it but this is our enderman farm we have slabbed the whole area i did uh i did it in layers um which wasn't a great idea i should have just done it with wood uh would have been a lot quicker with as much help as i had this is kind of our base at the beginning ender pearls for days i'm telling you so many ender pearls if you don't have one of these on your world you're not complete on your minecraft world i must say so many ender pearls <laughs> Uh, because once you get this on your world, you're complete. You can also use water to cover it. I just like half slabs. I just, I know water's probably quicker. Uh, everyone's told me water's quicker. But I just like half slabs. It's a lot easier to move. A lot easier to run around. Even though I have ender pearls everywhere, I just, I just like half slabs. I think it also, it's not as laggy to me. But I don't know. I haven't done water. Um, I did water in creative mode for a while. And it, it got a little laggy, so... And then I put water on top of this just because the Endermen were teleporting on top of it. And I ran in half slabs. And water is actually a good idea right here because they do teleport. Because they see the platform and they will teleport on top of it. So that's why I put water there. And they can teleport on half slabs. They can. But they can't teleport on water. So like if you hit an Enderman and he can teleport right there. So that, was, that wasn't that big of a deal. But it is a small problem with half slabs. So... If you wanna, if you wanna do it 100% legit correctly and have the best, most possible efficiency, use use water. Um, I'm gonna tell you. But look at all these ender pearls. <laughs> I guess this is from the last kill. Ender pearls. I'm telling you, all these chests are loaded. Uh, you gotta build one of these on your world, guys. <laughs> I would wait till at least T12s out though. It'll take you take you a good two or three months to to actually be able to get all this done. I would say if you play as much as I do anyways so let's just I'll just open all these up and you can just have a quick look most of its almost all these are ender pearls with a bunch of random tools that people throwing in there and stuff probably no diamonds or anything there's a bunch of redstone but yeah if you go look at my enderman farm tutorial I give you all the statistics on like how many blocks it takes or to how many redstone it takes and stuff like that so you can go look that up on my channel if you would like uh, here's the furnace that we use for the reset training glitch. <laughs> it just kind of sits there because uh, I always need a furnace whenever I want to reset. The reason I use the reset training glitch is because this thing only takes like a minute, a uh, minute and a half, two minutes to get an enchantment. And instead of wasting diamonds, I'd rather just waste the enchantment, if you know what I mean. So that's the reason I do that. So uh, this is one of the greatest builds I've made, I must say. Uh, it really is. Besides uh, the bridge I made, this is one of the better builds <laughs> uh and once again i thank everyone that helped me on this it did take a long time it was a long weekend and i but i seen the outcome i seen what was going to happen if i did this and uh it was finally done it didn't get as much publicity as i expected but it was fun and uh somebody uh trolled me they uh, ended up putting uh, water or lava inside the this and it destroys it so that's very inconvenient but you know it happens, so that's what happened. Somebody also trolled me and threw uh, a bunch of my equipment I was enchanting off the side, but we got payback on him. We did. That is for sure. So let's go out here, see where I'm going to spawn. 
Yes, perfect. And this is my fort. <laughs> As this is what I worked on at the end after we uh, killed the dragon. I pretty much looked on the map and seen that there's a big circle of water around the water or around land. I was like, that's where I want to go. That's a perfect place. That's where I want to be. So I came over here and scouted the area out, kind of cleaned it up, and I made the walls, which took so long, but it was fun. And then I made this gate. The gate uh, is a huge uh, fail. Uh, <laughs> it works. It's just inconvenient. Uh, the stairs kept uh, catching on fire. I think I could have used different types of stairs, but I was lazy. And it looks like uh, that lava's not flowing. But, but the piston work does work, and the lava isn't destroying the redstone. So it does work, but I don't ever use it. And it looks kind of cool, even though I don't use it that much. And then uh, we kind of go in here. Here's a nether portal. I made a little frame at it. Not not too long ago and uh, that was kind of interesting the windmill I love the windmill I think the windmill is so cool I probably want to put a windmill in every world just because I think it's awesome honestly I just really enjoy uh, that I came up with that idea to do and oh you gotta be kidding me oh I had to get rid of that rain <laughs> that would have been miserable but yeah the windmill was really cool very simple build and it, it looks awesome I think it looks so cool in this area and then we made a barn for food, uh, but I don't think we really used it much. And there's a villager that uh, we captured and put in there. Um, I had other ideas with him, but uh, I never uh, succeeded with those. We also made these little towers to kind of, you know, a fort. A fort has to have a tower. So I put towers up randomly. It just kind of uh, found a design I liked and uh, went with it. Put glowstone in the, the caps underneath the, the stairwell. Uh, for more lighting, put some torches on the edges, and uh, they're really cool. They add more feature to the to the fort, so I really enjoyed that. And uh, let's see, there's the jungle tree in the middle that took forever, but that was awesome. I was up to like 2:30 in the morning working on it for like four hours. I don't know why it took so long, but it looks so cool. Kind of overdid with the vines now that they're growing, but the vines just expand. You can't really. It's hard to control those things. I don't. I don't understand how the game keeps them under control so well and makes it look so good. But uh, but no big deal. It still looks awesome. Put glowstone up in the leaves and stuff. So right here is supposed to be a watermelon farm. Uh, I believe uh, uh, Adam is his name that made it. It's works very well. only problem is it's just in the way. It's cobblestone. And uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. But it works really good. Uh, has its piston activated and has waterways to catch everything. So it's a... Uh, pretty awesome and it gets like a almost a stack of watermelon there so that is pretty cool and then uh that was uh made inside this was already here whenever i got here so it's not like a pond made these lights and pathway i uh, thought that was a really cool idea and i like these lights uh or bushes bushes is what i call them and they also give light because you put glowstone on the bottom so that was that was really cool looking so there's a random chest uh, really was trying to get a chest room done, but I never did. Here's my house, by the way, if, uh, if you're new. Um, just a simple design I made on Creative, and I put it on here. Um, I think it looks kind of cool. looks like it, uh, it's looking at me because it has uh, like two eyes, and, and then this is its mouth. Oops. This is its mouth, and uh, I don't know. I just think it looks at me. It's kind of weird. Uh, just kind of put random lights everywhere. Try not to use uh, mini torches. We, we eventually made this little backyard area, made me a little tiny river, <laughs> more lights, and then uh, somebody stampied me, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know anything about that uh, until uh, someone did it to me. And then this is where I was going to make the chest room. Never succeeded. I was trying to make a, a combination lock, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. Uh, I didn't really try extremely hard, but I got it to work a long time ago. It worked well, and I don't know what I did differently. It's, it just didn't work. Plus, I was trying to use uh, pistons uh, to retract uh, obsidian, but apparently you can't do that. So uh, that was inconvenient. So this is where I've been hiding my stuff uh, here lately. Uh, I already cleared it out because I knew this video was coming. So, But I, that is pretty much everything in the world. Um, anything else that we did, I really didn't do anything with i think i was gonna make a mob grinder but i decided not to because uh it would have worked with all the people that would have helped me but eh, we wouldn't have used it that much everybody would have been into enderman farm and stuff so and we don't use t tnt on here because everybody just blows my stuff up so that's always a, a problem but 
it was fun. RTD was awesome. It was a great idea series that I made, and you guys is you guys are the ones that made it for me. I mean, it was for you guys in, in general. Plus, I wanted to be able to fight the dragon, even though I didn't have it in my LP. So it was a very good, uh, good thing I did. So, and I want to thank you guys because you guys are the ones that made RTD uh, as big as it is. And uh, but be ready for season two is all I got to say. Hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. I'll talk to you guys later.